please. I wasn't trying to be aggressive. Well, that's just perfect. Could we, uh, could I talk to you out here for a second? Uh-huh. Can I get a new chair? A new chair? Uh, well, I don't know if that's in our budget. It's fine, uh, forget it. Okay. Forget it. What's up? What's up? Um, is it laundry day or? What's that supposed to mean, man? I probably forgot to tell you we sort of have a bit of a dress code here. Uh, look, so Ralph, I want to wear sweatpants. You want to say that your school's got a former Harvard professor teaching at it, right? Looks good for your school, right? Uh, okay, please. I wasn't trying to be aggressive here. Right, but what you said to me right now, it, it sucked. Okay. You know, the worst part is I was starting to like you, man. You know, like in a buds who get drinks once a week kind of a way. Well, that's that's us. We can still do that. I you know what, I think you're just blowing this thing out of proportion. Yeah. Because I'm a laid back principal. You know, they make me wear this suit. I don't want to dress this sharp every day, but I have to, because mm -hmm. I'm an authority figure, but I'm still laid back and you're gonna see that. You know what? Let's forget the whole thing. Come here. All right. I, I, oh. Come here. That's <laughs> <laughs> my guy. Do you still want to get that beer tonight? No, or? no, no, no. Oh. See, I... I'm trying to make a plan to bang my high school ex as hard as I can, you know what I'm saying? Use our hallway voice <laughs> yeah, when we're so talking about that. I'm trying to set that up. All right. Okay. All right. You wrecked the sign. That's why I came here to... It's too late, Ralph. It's too late. Hi. My niece is in town. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Would you like to go out with my niece Friday night? Guys, guys, I got a problem. Oh, just wear a hat, sir. <laughs> Slater, uh, my niece Penny is visiting, and I need someone to show the girl around. What's she look like? She's a belding. <laughs> I'll catch you later, ma'am. I mean, sir. <laughs> Mr. Belding, the word on the street is you're looking for a mercy date for your niece. I'll date anything. Well, if I can't find anybody else, you'll be the first person I call. Thanks. I'll wear a beeper. <laughs> yes? Oh, here. Need to sign this. Uh, another afternoon in detention hall. Number nine in a series. No, I think that's number eight. No, number eight was when you sold the school to the Japanese. Uh, <laughs> what's wrong with Honda High School? <laughs> so this makes nine. And 10 is... Don't say it. Sir. That's right. Oh, come. Suspension. It's gonna happen, Morris. Not until cows give Pepsi, sir. I am in no mood for... The 10th detention slip? <laughs> Let me hold it. One week suspension, Morris. I'm a happy camper. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hi, honey. Well, no, I tried, but I couldn't. Look, I cannot just force anybody to go out with Penny. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> Zach. I'm gonna give you another chance. You are, sir? Oh, I don't know what to say. I do. Say, what time should I pick up your niece Friday night? <laughs> Mr. Belding, that's blackmail. Yeah. <laughs> What's your parents' number again? <laughs> oh, I'm this Friday night, yeah, for two hours. Three hours, not a minute less. Then it's your treat, $20. $20? Cash. Three hours, Friday night, $18. 20 Deal. Jack, I, I really, really appreciate this. Yeah, well, Ralph, I let you in five minutes ago. How are you already in full flannel pajamas? Were you wearing those under your clothes? I'm pretty much always ready to hit the sack. Is it weird if I sit on your couch? No, it's not weird to sit on the couch. You're sleeping on the couch. Okay. Oh, and is it uh, weird if I put my vitamins on the coffee table? You don't have to ask to do normal stuff. You're right, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm a little out of it. I guess I'm just missing Brenda, you know? Oh, her little sneezes. The way she would print up Facebook to read at night. The way she would say, oh, I'm cold. She was always 
always cold. Listen, can we not talk about your wife? I'm navigating this sexually charged friendship with my ex, Meredith. Need to maintain a playful, erotic mental state in order to transition from the friend zone to the uh, sex zone. You know, I, I totally get it. I, I should be turning in myself. So how do you want to do good nights? I mean, handshake feels so formal. I could be talked into a hug, but I'm not married to it. Although I'm really not married to much of anything anymore. I mean, do you want to like high five for... Uh, okay, good night. This way, quickly. Thaddeus told me you would come. You'll be safe here till morning. Quick, get under here. I have bread. At dawn, you will run north to freedom. I need no thanks, sir. I'm just doing my duty as a good Quaker. Rub this deer urine on you. It'll throw off the hounds. Hey, thanks for buying the pizzas, Mr. Melody. Hey, guys take care of guys. And what are we? Guys. guys. Oh, Slater, this must be your pizza. As I hate Jesse, spelled out in anchovies. All right. <laughs> this is fun. Let's do our man share. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Zach, I got. Mr. Belding, what are you doing here? Bonding with my boys. Oh, okay. You guys, I've got great news. Jesse and Kelly want to make up. What? What? They do? Great. All right. We won. Ah, making up. Oldest trick in the book. What do you mean? Huddles. Mr. Belden, what are you doing? Yeah, don't we want to make up with the girls? Slater, you give in to Jesse now, and you're going to be wearing a tutu for the rest of your life. <laughs> and Zach, you go crawling back to Kelly, and you're going to be best man at Kelly and Todd's wedding. What's the deal, fellas? I ain't getting any younger. <laughs> Tell them thanks, but no thanks. Are you sure? Hmm? Are we sure? Sure we're sure. Yeah, we're, we're guys. guys. You're pathetic. <laughs> oh, morning, Helen. Good morning. I want to thank Mary, Steph, and Michelle for yesterday. So could you send them each a bottle of champagne? Oh, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Champagne problems, am I right? <laughs> Wait, is that what that means? I don't know. Me neither. Anyway, I can't wait to get my uh, snapping finger to work, so, uh... Listen, Ralph, we only got through one student and three teachers yesterday, and if we don't get everyone else finished today, we're gonna spend more money on that equipment and lights than we would have if we would've hired Randy. Okay. I'm gonna just have to shoot the rest of the students today. That's right. Champagne problems. Is that it? I, I don't know. Yeah, me neither. Okay, we got 100 kids left to photograph in 15 minutes to do it, let's go. Okay, listen up, kiddos. Have your smiles prepped before you go into the frame. Think of something that makes you happy, like puppies for me, Nana's brisket, that chubby little kid from Up. Get in and get out. Great, next. Uh, I was hoping to try one without my glasses. Too no. late, next. Go, go, go. Uh, where should I look? Wrong way, next. Come on, pretend you're on fire, don't milk it. Cheese, yo. Already took All it. Right. Next. Keep moving. Don't stop to pose. Walk sideways. Go, go, go. There you go. Perfect. Pretend there's nice. a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheese. All right, boom. Getting it done, getting it done, getting it done. Go. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. I broke my gap. Now, what's all this fighting about anyway? I'll tell you one more time. One at a time. 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 Zach, you first, and I want the truth. Huh. <laughs> well, sir, the truth is Kelly's cheating on me. I am not! What do you call having dinner with Todd Winfield? Having a meal with another human being? I do it all the time! See, she admits it. Hold it. What does any of this have to do with Jesse and Slater? Okay, I'll tell you, Mr. Belding. Slater is a pig. <laughs> Mr. B, in her warped little mind, everything I do is chauvinistic just because I'm a guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Just because you are you, meathead. Hey, who you calling a meathead, skinny lips? <laughs> meathead? Skinny lips? When you young men and women mature, you will learn that relationships are an exercise in understanding, trust, and compromise. 
Yes. Put her on. It's my wife. Now listen to how we communicate. <laughs> yes, dear. I know, dear. But, dear, <laughs> I thought that we compromised and agreed that your mother would stay at the hotel and I'd pay anything. <laughs> well, too bad if she doesn't like it. We agreed. No, she doesn't get a vote. <laughs> Becky, don't do this. It's my house, too. You can't lock me up. <laughs> Becky? <laughs> well, that's just perfect. Now, where was I? Understanding, trust, and compromise in relationships, sir. <laughs> right. Jesse, it's time you stop bullying poor defenseless Slater here and tried understanding his needs. And Kelly, stop leading young Zach on. Think of his feelings. Slater's needs? Zach's feelings? Well, what about us? Don't our feelings and needs matter? Oh, obviously not. Let's go. Uh, oh. <laughs> I mean, Dave, this does nothing for me. Do you understand that? You went with your first thought. But I'm the geology teacher. I'm the only one it makes sense for. You bone me, Dave. Go take a lap. Yeah. Go. Uh, don't uh me. And don't either. Ralph, we just wanted to say we're really sorry we let you down. Why did you all do the same thing? We didn't plan to, but we all learned how to make volcanoes at the same teacher's conference last summer. Ohio, Ohio teach tastic! Yes, and it all was a hit for the teachers there, so we figured that it would help you win. I understand, okay, but I really need Jack to nail this dissection tomorrow. I mean, he and Coach are basically my last hope. Make way for the volley volcano! Ralph. Yeah, you two ladies lie on the floor. I got it. Guys, kneel next to the victim. Okay. Now, Zach, put your hand under Kelly's neck. All right, like this? Good, yeah, and okay. elevate her chin. Good, you too, Slater. Okay. All right, now take a breath. Go for it. <laughs> All right! <laughs> hey, 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 hey! What is going on here? I'm drowning and nobody cares! <laughs> I hope there's a good explanation for this. Oh, there is, Richie. Richard. The boys were demonstrating CPR. Yeah. Looks like they were making out to me. Besides, you're supposed to be in history class. Stop being so uptight. We're just using some class time to prepare for this Friday's trip. Take your class to the room. Come on. Come on, everybody. Mr. Belvin, come on. Don't be mad at Rod. He's a great teacher. Rod? Yeah. No other teacher ever cared so much about us. Well, maybe he should care more about teaching and less about being popular. Maybe you're jealous of your own brother. <laughs> <laughs>